The Diplomat, a manageable new size in a great new car by Dodge. Youthful, sophisticated, luxurious. It looks it, it drives like it, and it feels like it, with luxuries that are very easy to get used to. It looks like no other because it's a brand new car, a new concept, a new size of car between a compact and an intermediate to compete in a broad spectrum of the total market. The limousine look of the rear window, rich French stitching, and the thickness of the standard padded vinyl roof are bold statements about the quality and construction of the car. Because it's a new car, it uses new materials, new manufacturing techniques. Special bumper strips, for example, are impact resistant like rubber, but lighter than conventional material by as much as four and a half pounds. And it's weight savings with good looks that make the optional forged aluminum road wheels so appealing. Two pounds less than steel wheels. While every effort's been made to conserve energy, there's been no compromise in comfort. In a car, comfort and quiet are almost synonymous. And one of the reasons? All of Diplomat's extra sound insulation. Quiet. Another reason for Diplomat's quiet and comfort is Chrysler's unique isolated transverse torsion bar front suspension and long leaf rear suspension, both specially designed for Diplomat's wheelbase to give rideability, a big car feeling, and excellent handling. The engine is a special version of Chrysler's responsive 318 two-barrel V8 with computer-controlled electronic lean burn system. The heart of the system is a solid state computer that automatically adjusts the spark timing to the proper setting for various driving conditions. The result? Improved engine response that you can feel when you step on the accelerator and greater reliability. But for all its mechanical and electronic advances, Diplomat's personality is most apparent in the attention to interior detail. To increase passenger comfort, for example, Dodge went to full-depth urethane foam construction in the back seat without spring elements. A nice side benefit is a neat trim appearance. Unless you're used to driving the most expensive cars, you've never seen interior lighting like this. Illuminated vanity mirrors, standard for medallion sedans. Also standard for medallion sedans, lamps on all doors to light your way at night. And a map reading light that doesn't bother the driver when it's turned on. And optional for all diplomats, visor vanity mirror lamps, cigarette lighter lamp, glove box lamp, and a lamp to light the trunk. And look at that trunk. The space saving spare is standard for all diplomats and medallion models feature luxurious cut pile carpeting. Besides being surprisingly large and practical, Diplomat's trunk reflects Chrysler's attention to detail. Obvious when you compare with, say, the more expensive Olds Cutlass Supreme Brougham. Olds doesn't offer carpeting, just an $11 mat. The Olds trunk is smaller than Dodge's. The Space Saver tire is optional rather than standard, and the trunk opening is smaller. Finding another mid-size car comparable with Diplomat is difficult. Even Chevy's full-size Caprice is smaller in front seat headroom, legroom, and hip room. Here, judge for yourself. We'll put three people in the Dodge Diplomat and three people in the full-size Chevy Caprice. Chevy's transmission tunnel interferes with comfort for front seat passengers and for people in the back. There are other differences, particularly in the level of luxury. Here's the Diplomat's rear compartment. Nicely detailed compared with Chevy's Caprice. Design can have an effect on how functional a vehicle is. 
For example, when you roll the rear window down in the Diplomat, it opens wide. Do the same thing in Chevy's Caprice, and it opens about halfway and stops. It can't go down any farther because of the shape of the door. Diplomat's optional electronic chronometer with fluorescent digital display is easily read day or night and is accurate to within 60 seconds a month. Diplomat's rich instrument panel is attractive and functional. The wood grain applique is standard equipment along with fuel, alternator, and engine temperature gauges. There's even a handy trip odometer for keeping track of mileage. Controls are all within easy reach. Caprice controls are a stretch away and you pay extra for a trip odometer and engine temperature gauge. There's a definite difference in seat styles when you compare Diplomat with competition. Medallion models, for example, feature crushed velour 60-40 seats. 60% 60 of the seat space is on the driver's side. There's a center armrest and both seat backs recline. Very luxurious. Compare it with the Caprice standard seat. You can get optional 50-50 seats that will cost from $153 to as much as $285 extra and the seat backs do not recline. The standard 40-60 seats on the Cutlass don't recline either. Diplomat medallion models provide assist handles for all passengers. Caprice doesn't. While Caprice's door handles are a bit awkward, Diplomats are much easier to use. For Diplomat medallion models, a left-hand remote mirror is standard. For the other cars, it's a $15 extra. Neither Caprice nor Cutlass offers rear bumper guards as standard equipment, and the Caprice's rub strip costs extra. The rear guards and rub strip are standard on Dodge's Diplomat. The standard vinyl roof on Diplomat is richly padded with textured moldings. Unlike Caprice's optional roof, unpadded and with a $135 price tag. Diplomat is a brand new car looking for brand new buyers, people who want luxury but in a convenient, economical, mid-size package that handles and rides like a full-size car, and all at a mid-size price. If you're that kind of buyer, you'll find the Dodge Diplomat fiendishly seductive.